Whoa. What the heck? Oh my god, that scared me so much. If I come up there and it's no longer there, I am quitting, uninstalling and burning my computer. Hello my friends and welcome to what might become a series on the channel if you find it interesting. I have on several occasions in the past covered early access Subnautica builds, from the earliest access you can get your hands on to the legendary prototypes that are by some considered lost media. Now on those videos, some of you posted that you'd be interested to see me go through the major updates Subnautica had received over the years, so we can see how the game came to be, what it is now, exploring all the creepy and liminal builds that led up to it. So that's what we're doing today. I've covered the earliest access already, and those videos will be linked in the description as well as the eye icon in the top right of this video. But today, we'll be taking a small jump ahead in time. Let me paint you the picture. December 16, 2014. The game comes out in earliest access and people begin playing it. Many updates are already in the pipeline and so, only a week later, Dev Update 7 drops, adding the grav sphere, storage cubes and several other fixes and tweaks to creature AI. Today we'll be jumping a little under a month ahead from this point, to January 16, 2015, for Dev Update 8 that should bring several interesting elements such as bleeders, bone sharks, the terraformer and a current generator? We'd better go check it out. And so here we are, Subnautica Early Access, change set 12012 if that tells you anything. So let's take a look at what this is all about. Now, in latest news, of course, we don't really have anything. In options, we have the option of language, uh, which we can switch to... Wait, does this actually work? Um, well, what it does is it switches the font to lowercase. Only English is deserving of all caps, apparently. Now, when I click on new game, I only have the options of survival, freedom and hardcore, so no creative. But let's just pick freedom and jump in. The loading screen already looks close to final. I think it's just the text that shows up that's going to be different. In the late 22nd century, humanity is beginning to colonize space. Before colony ships arrive, habitation vessels are appointed terraforming missions. The Aurora was one such vessel. During its descent, the Aurora was struck by a mysterious energy pulse, resulting in catastrophic hull failure. A single life pod jettisoned prior to impact. You were in that life pod. Exciting intro that I believe we've already heard in the earliest access, and welcome to the life pod, which looks very shiny and honestly looks quite good for how early on this was. Not as good as the finished version, I think the colors there work better. I can't interact with anything here, I can open storage, and I can use the fabricator, so let's take a look here. Very different UI of course, it's super intense with the red. Calcium? Carbon? Is there like anything here that I recognize? Unobtainium, which is just, hopefully that's easy to obtain. Oh, okay, I have a functional PDA modules, which are not implemented, and bases, which are not implemented either. So I wonder if at some point you were supposed to be able to like manage multiple bases. You can also see that yes, this is the January 15 early development build. So let's get out of here. Welcome to the empty, creepy liminal world of early access Subnautica. There's the Aurora with a strange smoke-like effect on it. And here's the water. Let's float in. The massive coral cube was in already, that's good. Pick up quartz, all right. That's a nice model for the quartz, dang. Break limestone, okay, so they already had these tutorial prompts. Well, actually, yeah, let's build the, let's build the current generator. We need a battery and metal. And a carbon needs three purple mushrooms, all right, got it. How exactly purple mushrooms give you carbon? Don't ask me. Okay, and now we need metal. I'm gonna guess that just means metal salvage. There is a bunch of fish. Oh, and there we go. Metal. Nice. I should now have everything to build a current generator. I'm so curious what that does. I mean, like, I can imagine, but it, it's more like I'm curious why that exists. And current generator. Okay, let's see this. Well, I'm, I'm holding it now. It's a, it's a big cube. Okay, let's see if I can place it right here into the big coral tube. Whoa. Well, it. it wow, that worked. 
Dang, okay. Like, if I needed to get through fast. Let's see. Oh yeah, that kind of works. The only problem is it's pretty short. Like, this is as far as the current goes. It's an interesting concept. I wonder if you could use it to, like, like essentially automate traveling. Like, you set up a chain of these, and then you just hop in and they kind of push you wherever you need to go. I want to get all the way through the tube. So here we go, swimming in. I'm letting go of the keyboard. Okay, so far so good. It's kind of working. Oh, that's perfect. Boom. I didn't have to touch anything to get down here. I don't know how that would really be usable in the main game. In theory, you could set up a chain of these to get somewhere faster, but it just seems like the effort to craft them is a little too intense, which might explain why there were scraps. But all right, next up on our list, I want to go check some areas. The first of which I think should be the floating island. I spawned the sea moth. I mean, I'm kind of in. It's not exactly leveled, but <laughs> you know what? I'm going to try to speed up the game a little bit. Okay, um, that may have been a mistake. <laughs> it wouldn't be a good video without at least one crash. So as I was saying, um, island, <laughs> look at this. I was just making my way toward the island, decided to dip underwater. The first thing I see is this. It looks like when you take a slice out of a pie. No idea where this goes. There's this dotted surface. Whoa. And there's a bit of lava texture here. How? Why? Oh, whoa. Look at this. Ah, this might be the, the Grand Reef, or I mean, what would eventually become the Grand Reef. Which means we should be close to the island, if I can surface. Oh, and we indeed are. Whoa. What the heck? Oh my god, that scared me so much. Do you guys remember the You Were Never Alone story? I swear I didn't place this here. Oh, if I come up there and it's no longer there, I am quitting, uninstalling, and burning my computer. What the heck are you? I get it, it's like a size reference, I guess, but that scared the crap out of me. Nighttime approach. Oh, I did not need to see that. Jesus, that's unpleasant. That better not leave that area because I will just genuinely quit this so hard. And when I jumped into this today, I thought we were going to have a fun time exploring some old textures and stuff, but dang, okay. Did not expect a horror game. Anyway, this is the island. Very barren. I mean, it looks so strange, right? Just that repeating texture, empty landscape, that one shade of water. It all has a very strange vibe to it. Well, I definitely want to check out what's under the island. And also, since we're kind of towards the edges of the map, I want to see if the far lands are out here. Okay, so I'm gonna dive straight down from the island. Oh, look at this! We're in the Grand Reef, and we have the purple cone! It's a pretty rare item in the base game, I believe. The noises here are very creepy. I wonder if the deep Grand Reef already exists, I just have no idea how I would get there. Okay, I might have an idea. This is the flashlight, but green. But in reality, it's the terraformer. I can dig stuff away, and holy crap, this thing digs fast! Well, my idea is I'm gonna try to dig down a little bit and see if we can get to the deep Grand Reef. I mean, it should be right below us. Okay, um, unfortunately, I don't think there is a deep Grand Reef because I've swam 700 meters down uh, and uh, got nothing. But it was a good thought. This whole build has such an eerie vibe to it. And it's not just because I saw that body over there. Ooh, have we arrived at the Far Lands? It kind of looks like it. Okay, I'm gonna try to surface to see if, if we're at the Far Lands, or if I'm just dreaming. There's just this one lonely obelisk sticking from the water, nothing else. What is happening here? What could this be? I'm gonna try to follow it down, see how deep it goes. This is giving me... Whoa, 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 whoa that scared the crap out of me. This is giving me really bad vibes. So this is just like a cube hanging in midair. Okay, I'm gonna leave that be, whatever it is. <laughs> Such a creepy area. Like, what is this? What, what happens if I go down here? Is this the void? Oh my god, do you guys hear that? Uh, what is that sound? I don't know what that is, but I really dislike it. Holy crap, I dislike that so much. I, I wanna check if there is a bottom to the void. It, it should still be here, I believe. Unless I get eaten or die of a heart attack first. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh my god. Whoa. Now those sounds are absolutely terrifying. 
but welcome guys to the bottom of the void. This is like a proper place, yeah, in these early versions you could find a lot of terrain down here, and I believe in some of the builds you could even build down here. But look at this, this is so freaking scary. Oh my god, this is making me so uncomfortable. It's like we're on the surface of the freaking moon or something. It's just these massive chasms into nothing. And there's something making that creepy noise in the background, which I really dislike. Like, imagine I look down there and suddenly just a big eye opens up. Let's get back to the shallows, shall we? There are a few more places I want to go check out real quick. I want to go see the Gun Island. I believe some biomes were already in properly, like you can see the kelp forest, the grassy plateaus, they look quite nice. And I think also the mushroom forest and the bulb zone would already be in, since those were some of the earliest ones. A massive hole. Where does this go? Look at this, it's just a, a random hole that leads down to lava. I wonder if they intended for all of these to be like mini craters to push the idea that we are in fact on an inactive volcano. Oh man, maybe this is the start of the mountain island. They just didn't put it in yet. Now, I believe you can't get into the aurora yet. I can't explode it either. But for the last thing I want to check out is I kind of just want to take the terraformer and start digging down right here and see if we can find something interesting. Like maybe we managed to clip into, you know, some biome or whatever. And like this thing digs so fast. Now look, realistically, I don't think we're going to get anywhere. But maybe there is some unfinished stuff that, you know, is not meant to be accessible or whatever. Okay, it got very dark very quickly. <laughs> Don't think I like that. It's strange, look at this, like, if I go to a certain spot here, it gets really dark. Yeah, like, here we must be, like, close to a biome somewhere. I- something started hurting me, did you see that? Look at this, I'm just hurting for no reason in this specific spot. Whoa! Oh! Hello! Oh crap, I dug into a geyser! Whoa, 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 what? Where the heck did I end up? Uh... Guys, did I just get into the friggin' back rooms? What is this? Is this supposed to be like the jelly shroom cave? This is scary. What what on earth is this place? This place is freaking massive. Oh, oh yeah, look at this. Oh, this is the jelly shroom cave precursor. It's like a couple of random mushrooms in the middle of this creepy just cave system with like no way up to the surface. I just randomly dug in here. I mean, now it makes me wonder how many other cave systems like this there are. Like, why are these spaces so freaking scary too? Whoa, now I'm properly in the back rooms. Look at this. This is just a freaking cube hallway. So uh, we call this area the back rooms, I think, because it's just these endless cube hallways, but this is a big one. Oh my god, is this creepy. I'm so freaking nervous. This unsettles me a lot for some reason. Well, I guess only one course of action from here. Let's see if I can dig deeper. What goes beyond the back rooms? Like right now we're digging e even below that. Okay, well, I've, I've gone fairly deep at this point and the lighting hasn't changed at all. So I, I think we've reached about the end. I don't think there's anything below this. This is a pretty good spot to end this exploration into this build. Let me know if you'd be interested to see me explore some other early Subnautica builds. Because, I mean, this was definitely a scary experience. If you liked the video, please maybe consider leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing. All those would be very much appreciated. And with that, I'm going to see you guys a beautiful rest of the day. And I'll see you in whatever next video I make. Bye-bye.